Hello and welcome to VLOOKUP Hacks, hack number one, sort order. My name's Jeff, and I'm glad that you're here. VLOOKUP is one of the most important Excel functions, and so we're going to take the next few posts, next few videos, and dig into some of the details. So this is a series called VLOOKUP Hacks, and this is the very first hack, and it is called sort order. Let's just go ahead and get started. We want Excel to go find an account number in this table and return the related account name. Let's go ahead and get started by writing our VLOOKUP function, equals VLOOKUP. We want Excel to go find this account number, comma, in this range, comma, return the value from the 1, 2, that's the second column in the account name column. Close the function and enter. Let's see what we got. 1002 savings, 1002 savings. We look good. 1000 is checking account, that looks good. 1001 money market account, that looks good. 1002 savings, looks good. And I think we got it. Or do we? Okay, let's just pay careful attention here. We notice that the data is sorted in ascending order by the account num column. So does sort order matter? Let's find out. Let's go ahead and sort it by the account name column instead. And, da, 1002 checking, that's not right. 1002 is savings. Okay, so what's going on? Is Excel broken? Is VLOOKUP like broken? No, no, this behavior is by design. And here's the hack, okay? The hack is <laughs> the hidden or optional fourth argument. There are four arguments to the VLOOKUP function. Often in practice, you'll see VLOOKUP is written with only three arguments, but there is a fourth argument. This argument is called the range lookup argument, and it controls a lot of the behavior of the VLOOKUP function. And we're gonna take the first few hacks of the series and dig in deep to this fourth argument because it has some major implications. But for now, we wanna just stay focused on the sort order issue. So here's the deal. When the fourth argument is true or omitted, Excel is performing an approximate match. It's doing a range lookup. And that means the data has to be sorted in ascending order by the account num or by the first column within the range. But when we change this fourth argument to false, Excel is doing an exact match lookup, and that means the sort order does not matter. Okay, So if we change this fourth argument to false and hit enter, yes, it works. 1002 is savings, 1002 is savings. 1000 is checking account, that looks good. 1001 is money market, that looks good. 1011 uh, is deposits, that looks good, okay? So the point is, there is a fourth argument. It is called the range lookup argument. Oftentimes, it is omitted. When it's omitted, it is true. When it's true, it's doing a range lookup, and that means the sort order matters. For Excel to return an accurate result, the data must be sorted in ascending order by this first column within the lookup range. But when that fourth argument is false, sort order does not matter. Okay, and so by simply changing this fourth argument to false, we can make this uh, function more bulletproof uh, so that it doesn't break if we change the sort order, okay? And that is just the first of several details about this fourth argument. So we're gonna look more at this um, in the next video and in the next blog post, all right? Hopefully this helps. Thanks and uh, have a great day. See you on the next video. This video is a production of Excel University.